Hi guys. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Happy New Year, 2012. So, um, a couple of my YouTube friends um, have more or less kindly and very softly said, you know, come on Carolyn, get on it and do some more videos. So here I am. Um, I'm not promising a whole load of them, but um, I'll do my best. I think I have two or three that I sort of have planned for this weekend. Um, so this is my um, best nail polishes for 2011, which carry on into 2012. I'm a bit of a nail polish whore, so <laughs> bear with me. So I'm going to start with uh, Revlon, and this is a brand new one. Um, this is 471 Fashionista. And I, it's kind of showing fairly true on camera. Um, I haven't used this very much actually. I um, I don't know why it went blue all of a sudden, but there's the color. Um, I'm not sure why my camera just did all that, but anyway. Um, bear with me, you guys. Okay, so Fashionista is really nice. Um, and then I got the Top Speed Fast Dry Nail Enamel in Espresso. And there's the the color. I have to get used to this again, you guys. So I actually haven't tried that one, but I love the color. Um, I did eventually find the OPI uh, Black Crackle. Um, couldn't find it anywhere at all. And I live in Canada, so there is a store called Chatters, at least in British Columbia, and uh, they have an amazing selection of uh, nail polish. So they phoned me as soon as the shatter came in, and I went and bought a few and sent them around kept one for myself so I got the black which I've tried it over several colors and I personally I'm a black and white girl like I mean dark blue blacks those are my colors so um, I actually picked this up at the dollar store and it's just a white um, I think it was like a dollar but anyway I haven't tried this yet but I'm gonna see that's what happens is when I put my hand right up the, ch the colors change I uh, won't be doing that. Um, but I also picked up the Crackle Top Coat, and this is by La Rosa, so it's just a clear top coat, and again, I haven't tried that. Um, now, this, I think, um, is one of my, my best buys. This is Rimmel, and it's very, very similar. Um, I'm not going to say an exact dupe yet. Um, for Chanel's Peridot, which I have been hankering after, but I'm sorry, I'm not paying $30 for a nail polish. I don't care how beautiful it is, because for that price, I can buy, you know, two, two, four, or five other nail polishes. But I'm loving that, and that's what I have on now. So, loving this. Um, I did jump onto the bandwagon for the Sage Beat. Um, I wanted to use up, I have the Sally Hansen, and I think it was just a top coat, but I was using it or not a top coat, it was just a clear polish, but I was using it as my top coat because it was an instant dry, and that worked amazingly well. I mean, my nails didn't chip for days and days and days. Anyway, so I got the Sesh Beat, sorry about the lighting, you guys. Um, I got the base coat and the top coat. Haven't used the base coat yet. Love the top coat. Um, the last polish I had on... I think I had it on for like two weeks and nary a crack. It was more that the nail bed was showing because my nails were growing. Okay. Uh, next one is the Sally Hansen in Pat on the Black. Now, I have this in the the other, you know, the other type of container. It's slightly different and this is a little more purple and I'm a real, I love purple, so. So this is gorgeous. Um, and then I have Essie, and Essie for me anyway, it just suddenly appeared in Vancouver, or the, you know, BC, so I've been going nuts, and I did pick up, the first Essie one I picked up was a gorgeous green, which I can't find, but anyway, this is Sol Mate, and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous deep wine burgundy, love that. Next one is Nicole by OPI, and these are all, <laughs> these two are all purple, or both purples. So this one is um, Show You Care. And these are actually fairly, it's showing fairly true. 
Um, and then this one is Sapphire in the Snow, and this is a gorgeous purple. Like, that is absolutely, ugh, love it. Um, and then my final one here, I just picked this up at Sephora, which I was working in Vancouver um, for a short-term contract. And uh, Sephora. <laughs> On Boxing Day, no less. Um, I promised my stepdaughter I'd take her, so I did. <laughs> I'll never do that again. Um, anyway, but I did get uh, Sephora by OPI Dark Room. And it's, it's a, a super, super dark green. Almost a black, but it's got some beautiful little flickers in there. So, those are, right now, those are my, the polishes, the favorites. Um, I did pick up, and I still haven't put them on, but um, I will. Uh, the Sally Hansen Salon Effects. And these are the ones that you, there you go. So that's sort of like a fishnet stocking pattern. Again, black and white. And the, I guess, is this a hound's tooth? Anyway, that pattern there. So I haven't tried these yet, but I will. And the last thing I picked up, on, I do love after Christmas sales and Boxy Day sales and such. Anyway, so I really love these. And I did have them, but I didn't want to pay another, I think it was 11 or $12 to replace them. But these are the Sally Hansen Quick Care Clean Up Manicure Pens. And I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen these. Um, I mean, I've always made do with, you know, since the other one ran out, I've made do with using, um, oh, they're there. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, this is actually a fantastic little creation. So it's just, it's just a pen. And you push down on it, but it lets you get into, you know, the crooks and crannies of your nails without having to redo your entire bloody nail. And then there are two replacement tops here. So anyway, these were half off, so I bought the last two that I could find in the sale box. So I'm really happy about that. And I, as I'm talking to you, I just suddenly just realized that once these get used up, I think I could probably just dip them in, in um, nail polish remover. And use them and get my, more bang for my buck. Anyway guys, um, that's my nail polishes. Um, I've been watching all my favorite women. I've left little notes on your channels and stuff so it's just been, um, there's a variety of reasons I stopped making videos and I'll talk about that in another video but um, I do watch all of you and follow you and, um, and I'm sort of feeling like okay I might want to get back into making some videos. Anyway, um, so let me know what your favorite polishes are, and if you have any um, tips for me about other colors and such, I mean, for sure, let me know. Um, okay, we'll see you soon. Bye.